Honestly, I've been doing intros to this for a solid couple minutes now and none of them are coming out right. So I'm not sure if it's just like I'm anxious about just filming this and I'm not, I don't, I don't know. My brain is just completely frazzled, which it has been the last couple weeks anyways. Um, welcome. If you're new here, my name's Brittany. I am... I don't know what I am. I don't know what I do on here. Do I even do anything on YouTube? I'm not sure anymore. I am 30 this year, if any of you haven't caught that in like my prior videos. So uh, welcome to my 30s. It is not the way I pictured it. You know when you're younger you just picture, especially as a high schooler, like at third one, 30 is old when I, Brittany was in high school. It's not old to me now. I, I still don't feel it yet. Actually, my body hurts sometimes in the mornings, and I feel like that's just me getting older, but it also could be just because I work out and then maybe don't stretch enough. I'm not sure. I have two cats now, but if you are a subscriber of mine, you probably already know that. So I have Chester, who's going to be just like squirreling around in the background, and there's Oliver, who doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> feels like he doesn't love me anymore. He's actually the sweetest baby angel um, and he snuggles and he loves his little belly to be rubbed but I moved home which is an update that I wanted to share for the next eight months or so and my parents have a 16 year old cat and Oliver is obsessed with him. It's so just strange but, like I literally never see him anymore. He's always just around Shadow and Shadow doesn't even like him so but Shadow is also a sweet baby angel who um, while well, he'll hiss at him here and there, won't ever like slap him or anything. So yeah, you won't see Oliver. You probably will never see Oliver unless I go take the camera to him. Um, which is strange because at my other apartment he was always on me, always on top of me. I've also been going to work though. Uh, I work in a school and we're back in session so I'm not around as much so maybe he's like resentful of that. Who knows? He's he's crazy. Chester's always been the same. He's a sweet baby boy in the mornings. He wants to be around me, but he doesn't necessarily want me to touch him. So, like, he's standing over there looking at me, and that's pretty much the interaction we have, unless it's bedtime and then he snuggles. Back to moving home, though. Um, so, yeah, I'm here for the next eight months. I moved out of my apartment. I miss my apartment so much. I loved it. I loved it. I hated my neighbors. So my neighbors moved in June. Hated, 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 hated them. They were upstairs. I loved all my neighbors aside from the ones above me. Um, I've had seven neighbors up there in that apartment. I, they're not there anymore. Um, seven different move-ins. It was the only one that I've ever had an issue with. So uh, since they had just moved in and they're on a year lease, I was like, you know what? My lease is coming up. I'm going to leave. Um, so I left at the end of August. And I've been here since. So it's a long drive because we're back in session at school. We're doing a uh, mask on the whole time. It's gone well. We only shut down once so far for two weeks. One week, technically, the kids. I had to go in quarantine. Never did get COVID. I got tested and everything. It was negative. I had just had direct contact and the health department makes you quarantine no matter what, which is good um, and for safety reasons. But we are back. It is so much nicer than being virtual. Uh, counseling virtually is not easy. The kids you want to see and you need, like, the kids you need to see, they need to see you, are less likely to actually stick to an appointment time, um, which makes it so difficult because I'm not a 24-7 a counselor, even though they probably wish at 2 a.m. I would get up and talk to them. <laughs> um, but when they're in person, I can pull them from class and, like, they have to come see me, so... I really enjoy that part. Um, another update is um, <coughs> I've been seeing someone, so that's another update. We've been dating uh, over two months, I don't know, two and a half months, something like that. Um, really, really sweet, really, really kind. You know when they say like you will find someone and you'll just like know and they'll feel different? That's how this feels. I really hope I don't watch this back in like even three months from now I'm just like oh, wish you would have said that but it's true I like it's so different everything about this is different in like all of the best ways so I'm excited see where it goes we'll see what happens you guys probably won't meet him because <laughs> who knows how often I will even upload from here so 
I don't post a ton on here, you guys know this. It doesn't feel like a safe place anymore, and I hate to say that, but it doesn't. But I'm trying, and I know just pulling through, and I know pushing through it is the only way to start, like, regaining that, like, motivation, I guess, I don't know, um, drive for it because I used to have so much fun on here and I loved uploading and I loved interacting and everything about YouTube I just loved. And then a lot of things happened. It changed. I started feeling like this was no longer like a safe place for me and it no longer like gave me those warm feelings. <laughs> it actually brought me a lot of anxiety and it still brings me a ton of anxiety. Even just filming this now just doesn't feel natural. So um, I don't know. I feel like I've said this so many times. I don't know what is going to happen with me and like continuing YouTube or not continuing YouTube. I don't know. Uh, it's just something that I haven't like felt strong enough in either direction yet but again like it is something that is building stress inside me so I don't I just need to make a decision and stop just teetering on getting rid of this or keeping it S obviously I'm making I'm video uh filming right now and I'm uploading so I'm going in the direction of keeping it I'm just still not a hundred percent Next piece, um, it's not, I don't even want to talk about this at all, I don't, I sometimes confuse vlogs with like video diaries as if I have to tell you everything that's going on, um, and I know that a lot of you care, and a lot of you, it's entertaining, not, that's not the right word, um, it's a way to build a connection. And I'm used to sharing a lot with my life on here. And maybe I share too much or maybe I don't share enough. I'm not really sure. I'm not someone that shares a lot in general just because I'm so used to just bottling stuff up. And when you have a job where all you do is talk to other people about their issues and what's going on in their life, a lot of times the last thing you want to do is talk about your own. You know, I just feel like mentally and physically exhausted every single day. I... <sighs> I hate talking about this and that's something I don't talk about because it's not easy to talk about, but I don't want to. This uh, last week specifically has been probably, if you guys knew me back when I was going through my medical issues six years ago, five years ago, I don't even know. Um, I was in probably the darkest place I've ever been in there. And I'm not in that dark place, but as far as like stress and just sadness, I am in a really, really sad spot right now because the last couple weeks I've just been awful in so many ways. Um, anyways, uh, so two of my really good friends, they had an accident, um, on their motorcycle, not this past Thursday, but so two weeks ago, and they both passed away, and I've, one, I've never lost, like, a close friend before, but two of them at the same time, and... I'm just really, really, really sad. <sighs> so 
so we had the funerals all last week and now so finding out obviously was the worst and then going to the funerals and seeing them and I just have not been able to process it yet just because I see them everywhere Honestly, the summer has been, uh, I know it's not a popular opinion, but the best summer I've had in a really, really long time. And I guess I got to see them probably like three to four times a week to hang out. And I'm actually really thankful for that. Like quarantine, if anything, gave me so many memories with them. And I feel really, like I keep telling myself, like that alone like I need to hold on to and <sighs> and you guys know I'm like really into routines and like a normal weekend would be hanging out and then it's not anymore I'm sorry <sighs> I will go from laughing, thinking of something, to just crying in the next second. It's very, I feel like it'd be entertaining for some people to watch just for like the first few seconds just because of how like crazy my emotions are right now. Anyways, I'm really struggling actually. So he was my neighbor and the where I work out at is right next to where we live or where we lived and where they crashed is right next to it's like a mile from where we lived but right next to my gym so I haven't gone to my gym since then and they had just put up crosses for them and I'm really nervous about going past that so I haven't been going and that's been stressing me out too because if you guys know me like that's my that's my routine also, it's just going to the gym. And I know that sounds really small, but I, I can't go there and I'm afraid to go there. And I don't, it's not like I'm afraid of crying. It's just when I'm out of sight, not that it's out of my mind, but it's easier. So I've been going to a different gym. Um, I've, I go the Y, so I have a, I can go to any gym in Ohio that has a Y or any Y in Ohio that has a gym. Or just any wine. So I've been going to another gym. And I really like my my gym. So I'm working on it. I'm working on being able to go there. I think it's just going to take some time. I just feel like when I experience stress, what it for me is I just have like a ton of air in my body and I can't get it out. And so when I say I have too much air in me, my friends know. I just am super stressed and breathing helps me. Breathing helps me a lot. Grounding helps me a lot. <sighs> Time is just going to be, that's what helps. And not losing those memories as much as they make me really sad. They make me really happy and I loved them and I still love them and I'll always love them. And they'll always be around just not physically <sighs> anywho are those all the updates oh um I don't know if I mentioned okay so I moved back home um, and I didn't explain so because my main neighbors moved in and my lease was up. I was like, you know what, eight months, 
is around summertime. I can move then. I can save up all the money during the school year and I can find a house to potentially buy then in the summer because uh, I don't have a ton of money saved to do a down payment. And buy it. I don't have a ton of money. I don't have much money at all yet, like saved down for a down payment. So um, that's my plan is to be here until the summer. So we'll see what happens and where I go from there. Life is up in the air. I think that's another stressor. It's up in the air a lot. <sighs> Aside from the last couple weeks, the summer has been really well. I hope that your quarantine, you have been able to make it um, the best that you can. Everyone does it in different ways. <sighs> Being with my friends helps me the most. Uh, also, my new man friend and friend boyfriend man friend boyfriend he helps a lot he's been he's been a shining shining star in this so if anything while 2020 has been one of the worst years for me it has also been one of the best years for me and definitely the weirdest year for me <laughs> uh, leave me in the comments below how your year is going what you know what, leave in the comments below um, your favorite thing that you've been able to experience this year. And maybe your comments, we can kind of just chat with each other. And if you're having a bad 2020, maybe you'll f learn something or try something new to try to like brighten your year some. It's almost, I'm not even going to say it's almost over. I don't have no idea what 2021 is going to be like. Hopefully it's going to be beautiful. We will see though. I have a feeling it's going to be great. I think this is going to be a really good upcoming year. I truly feel like that. Okay. I love you guys very much. And I will see you soon. Okay. I'm super weird. I'm sorry. Goodbye.